Now that, that's not a red flag. In fact, I think that's adorable. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Now, when we're dating, we're all dating because it's fun, we're trying to enjoy ourselves, but at the same time, we're trying to determine if this is the person we wanna be with long-term. And for noticing red flags is important in determining do I wanna continue dating this person or should I let them go and try to find someone new? So today, I'm gonna to share with you five subtle red flags that scare great men away. Check it out. Hey, my name is Matt Boggs, and I am the co-founder of the Love and Relationship Division of the Brave Thinking Institute. And if you're not a member of this community, go ahead and click that little subscribe button and the bell, because every week we bring you videos to empower you in your love life. And today we are talking about red flags. Now, as you look at these red flags, know this. This information is meant not so that you change yourself, quite the contrary. This information is given to you so that you can be true to yourself. Because when you're true to yourself, that's when you attract someone who truly loves you. And at the same time, we all have unconscious behavioral patterns. And so as you notice these red flags, ask yourself, is this truly me? Or is this getting in the way of someone knowing the real me? And then once you're conscious of it, you can align your behavior with your true self to build the strongest connection possible. So let's take a look at red flag number one. So you're a physician? That's really impressive. Uh, is it? Both of my parents are doctors. It's not that impressive. All right. All right. Number one is rejecting compliments. And that's a red flag because if you have a pattern of rejecting compliments, then that's going to communicate that you've got low self-esteem and low self-esteem is not attractive. And so there's nothing wrong with having a bit of humility, but it's the pattern of rejecting compliments that becomes a warning sign. Now, you are an amazing high value woman. So the best way to own how amazing you are is when someone gives you a compliment, just simply respond with two very powerful words. Thank you. Thank you, that's the best way to receive a compliment. And if you wanna take it up a notch, even say, thank you for noticing. Saying thank you, or thank you for noticing, or thank you, that's so kind, that's a great way to turn a potential red flag for being too critical into a wonderful green flag. Now, let's take a look at red flag number two. Uh, hey, do you want another one? Seriously? Have you seen this? I'm getting so fat. I need to watch my sugar. Red flag number two is being too self-critical. Now, there's nothing wrong with a little self-deprecation, but too much of that is going to come across as being self-critical, which signals low self-esteem again, and that is just unattractive. I've literally had men tell me that when they're on a date with a woman, they're talking about what they're up to and the cool things that are going on, and the woman will say, wow, your life is so interesting. Like, my life is so boring. Again, that's too self-critical. Or a woman who says, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have such trouble meeting good men. And yet there's a good man right in front of her who's trying to date her. While that might just sound like self-deprecating, it can actually come across as too critical and that will signal a red flag for your man. Instead, know what makes you awesome. Own that. Know what you're passionate about in life. Know what you love in life and talk about those things because when you talk about those things, that's where you're gonna find an easy way to bond. So now let's look at red flag number three. I just wanted to say that I really love you. Sorry, you were saying something? Red flag number three is being focused too much on appearance. I can't tell you how many guys have this same story happen to me out on a date with a woman and there is a mirror within her eye shot, either on the side of us or behind us and she can't stop looking at the mirror. She's looking to the side, looking back, kind of looking, checking herself out. I'm trying to have a conversation with her and she's constantly checking herself out. And I'm like, wow, she's more attracted to herself than she is to me. And I thought, 
And so my immediate thought was, this woman is superficial. Like this woman is self-absorbed. And none of us want to be with someone who is self-absorbed or, or superficial. Now, guys, we get in trouble too. Like women, I know you say, my eyes are not down here. My eyes are up here. Lift your eyes, guys. So we will get caught looking at the wrong things as well. So it's important to be mindful of that and make sure that you're focused on the day, on the right thing, what's important to you, which is the person in front of you. And that's where you're going to build the most attraction. And this brings us to red flag number four. So then I was like, what do you mean? I gave it to you. Do you not see it? And she was Hi, like, can yeah. I take this for you? Oh, so you are still here. You can take these. <laughs> Thanks uh, so much. <laughs> God, we've been waiting for like 20 minutes for her to take those. Did you tip her? Red flag number four is being irritable with others. One of the best ways we show our character is how we treat others in the small moments. How we treat others in these everyday little mundane moments speaks volumes about who we are. Because if you're irritable with others when they're not on your pacing or they inconvenience you in some way, then when you're with your man, he's seeing this. He's thinking, wow, if she's getting so worked up over this small moment, I wonder how she's going to be during the big moments. On the other hand, when you're kind, when you're patient, when you're compassionate, when you're helpful in the small moments of life, that goes a long way for the person who's deciding, do I wanna spend the rest of my life with this person? All right, this brings us to red flag number five. Check it out. Yeah, I just don't know if, if I didn't have that experience, I don't know where I would be today. I know, right, so crazy. Red flag number five is checking our phones on dates. Your attention is the most valuable and precious commodity that you have, especially on a date. And we all know that when we're on a date, we're on our best behavior. So if you're checking your phone on a date while he's trying to talk to you, he's thinking, wow, if she's doing this on one of our first dates, what is she gonna be like later on when we're actually in a relationship? And so one of the most powerful moves that you can actually do is if you get a text or you get a call or whatnot, to actually leave that to the side and keep your focus on the person. That's showing that you're choosing them, you value them, that this moment is more important than whoever's trying to grab your attention. Now, on the other hand, if your kids are with the babysitter or there's some emergency that might come up, and you see that person calling or you see a text come in, then just let the person know, say, oh my gosh, my kids are with the babysitter. They're, let me just see what they need right now and make sure they're okay. And any reasonable human being is gonna have compassion in that moment and that's gonna be okay. But a very powerful thing is to leave the phone to the side, leave it out of sight completely and bring your full attention to the person you're with. Now, those are five subtle flags that can scare great men away. Again, the purpose of this is to notice, do I have any of these unconscious patterns going on? And are they who I truly am? Or are they preventing someone from knowing who I truly am? What I would love to hear from from you is what red flags have you noticed in men that scare you away? Go ahead and post that in the comment section below. And if you're not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button because every week we put out fresh videos to empower you in your love life. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.